Ahoy, me hearties, and welcome back to another voyage across the Erythia Sea. I'm your captain as usual, John E. Rogers. And in today's voyage, we're finna test out our might. <laughs> How long can I keep that up? Welcome back, everybody, to Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time, booty. This time, uh, that's usually how things go. In all seriousness, unlocking the, uh, ever so interestingly named Soul Hacker class was legitimately a highlight of the game. I will be honest though, I did have a friend pretty much explain it all in detail and how this class works. Sorry to burst your bubbles, buddy. Yeah, this is more of a late game job class, whatever you want to call it. Simply put, yeah, it does not get arts or even skills like normal classes. Instead, it harvests them from unique monsters, and I think that's pretty rad. So before we get started on our voyage proper, why don't we actually just fight some unique monsters? It's been a while since we've done that. Only issue is, uh, where I, 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 I think I'm, st you're good, hold up, you're good, you're good. A little more, a little more to the left. You're good, you're good. A little, you're, all, you're halfway there, you're good. No, we're effing stuck. Okay, I'm getting out of here. This feels like as good of a target practice as we're going to get. These unique monsters gave me a real headache when we first came here, and now I'm gonna hack their souls. Legitimately, um, yeah, it is kind of a bummer that, you know, this class I was really excited to check out in a character I was absolutely like interested in kind of is a gimmick, but it's a fun gimmick, and I'm always excited to see how, you know, Monolith Soft makes the unique monsters change from game to game, but as you're seeing, I think the arts you start out with are kind of not the best. It's also a really big downgrade. We can't use fusion arts because, well, we don't have any diamond arts, which is, yeah, all around. You start off really weak, but I imagine you ramp up. This is a concept that was also introduced in, a uh, you know, Xenoblade Original, and also carried over into 2 in the form of Zenobia, the Rare Blade, which, uh, I was a pretty big fan of. It gave you an awesome incentive to track down all the unique monsters, which, I mean, you know, some people kind of hate, but I personally love. Only issue is, yeah, if I do want to use this class in our main playthrough, we'd end up being super overpowered, but ooh, ooh! I'll say this much, though. The animations. Pretty dang good. Let's actually uh, check out what we can do with chain attacks. Oh man, we rarely start with lands. It's honestly a darn, it's just a darn shame, dare I say. Triton's heroic chain either adds 50 or removes 50 TP upon reactivation, and he has 10 tactic points. He has the lowest tactic points in, in the game. I'm pretty sure that is extremely bad. We get a look at his arts though: magnificent fist, peril punch, pirate lariat. I want Pirate Lariat. Can we get that? His chain order is Barbarous Rage. Kind of fitting for a Mobius. Randomly increase all characters' TP by four. No, between four and four. That is... Why is he so bad? Dude, I thought... I thought they did Juniper bad. This is, like, next level. Ugh. Oh, you're breaking my heart, Monolith. But he's so cool. Okay, he's not necessarily cool, but, you know... Get him, old man. Get him, old man. Show him who's... You're literally old man because you can never die. All right. All right. He's got some moves. I'll give him that. Also, hot tip. Those unique monsters all count as different ones, so we got three different skills from them. Nice. But yeah. Uh, this this outfit you're probably not going to see for a while. Heads up. <laughs> Thought I'd say that now. I did learn one thing, though, and I... Oh, I really hope this is not a waste. But we're also reaching our cap of you know, 99 coins soon. But apparently, upon rank 10, you get a special skill. And... Did I get it? Did it... Did it work? Oh, it did! Awesome! Okay. So, at rank 10, you pass the soul hack skill onto your other classes, so you can still fight unique monsters without having to use the sucky class that's not even finished yet. Pretty sick. So, as much as I love them, Triton's out and Asherah's back. So yeah, our pirate adventure, it's not over, we're just, we're just on break, and hello. There's another, uh, question mark. It looks like this is an island we've yet to explore. 
there's a uh, supposedly a lot that opens up in the game and I understand if we stop to do actually everything I'll we'll make us substantially overpowered but if it comes to that by the time we get to the castle I'm just gonna like turn the game on hard mode and do my usual Johnny awesome affair and just actually unequipped gear like what can I say I want you know a challenge but I also want to experience the gameplay you know holy moly that's a big effing bird <laughs> <laughs> They're so silly. <laughs> what? Why am I like this? I don't know. This is the path we're trying to get to, though. I uh, have no idea what that is up there. It sure looks evil. Oh my god. What the dump is that? It looks like a, you know, a thing to respawn bosses. But I wonder what this is. That monument-looking thing? No, I'm talking. What else would I be talking about, Uni? It looks as though there's something written on it. Can you decipher, Riku? Friends must wait! Uh, no need to shout, we're right here. It's very dangerous to go closer! Manana is correct. Danger, peril, jeopardy! What's dangerous about it? Not that I'm accusing you of overreacting. I mean, you'd never do that. Extremely ferocious monsters sleeping in that place. Ferocious, you say, huh? Crud, I don't have my soul hacker ability on. That right! Friends must never, ever, ever make offering to monument. Hmm. Many offering will awaken monster from hideous slumber. Hideous slumber? What? Why would you say that? You know we're going to have to do it anyway, right? <laughs> but forbidden. Riku forbid. It's monster of horrible, terrible danger. Well, if you insist, I guess we can look the other way. If it's such a big deal, maybe we shouldn't get involved after all. That decision of wisdom. But you're really, you're really curious, right? Well, yeah, but... Friends wake dangerful beasts at own risk. Manana wash wings of matter. <laughs> well, let's think about it before we should do later at our own risk, shall we? What the heck is this thing? An unspeakable being? I guess super boss territory? But like, I mean, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a safety save. Give me a second. I forget what game it was, but I actually like bricked my save file. I, I I did a quest that was just so over. It was awful. I would hate for that to happen to this game. Let's see what comes out. Uh, which was it? Oh, it's one of these. Uh, awaken, awaken, as I give you a bunch of emeralds. Yeah, and maybe a mushroom or two. Is that enough? Okay, another mushroom. Eh? Doing anything for you? Friends did it. Everyone is big stupid. We try to stop you, but you keep feeding it the mushrooms and the was. <laughs> what the spock is that? No way. You? What is that? What? Oh no, it's cute. <laughs> Senna! It, it really is kind of cute, though. How could Mio? You fool! You've fallen for its allure! I'm struggling to see a deadly monster at all. Can I pet it? No, it's Senna! Chill, 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 chill! <laughs> no, I think it's harmless. Oh my god, <laughs> what is that reaction? Ah! It's gone berserk! Senna, look what you did! How is it my fault? Okay, this isn't funny. Okay, it's kind of funny. This is no time for foolishness. That beastie means business! Time to fight! Ah! Give it your all! It's a... Oh, it's level 58. That's not that bad. We might actually be able to pull this off. Unless it just one-shots us all. So this is... Kind of just... Nope, it, it's killing us all. Okay. This was definitely a mistake. Well, uh, my god, what do I even call this archetype? I guess, uh, the first one was an Arsene, or that was its name anyway. It's just a really obnoxious, really evasive super boss. But this one's level 50, so, like, not really a super boss. Dang it! When we come, yo, when we come back, though, we're gonna show you who's, ah, oh, frick! I do wonder what makes this unique monster so special, though. God, I really want to know what we'll soul hack from it, but 
Well, that island was a bust. Let's uh, try another one. All right, a little bit of sailing later. We've arrived at our uh, next locale. I think this is the next island with a potential friend or foe to deal with. It looks really cool. It's especially nice to see it on a uh, foggy day like this. Oh, dang, you can see uh, the fingers of the Titan over there. You know, that's where we had our battle with O and P, who, despite their names, were actually laughable. Like, I'm not even that good at this game, bro. I barely, like, I don't even switch the characters that much. What's up? Wait up. I heard something. What is it, Mimi? Oh, I'm an honesty person on ground. You do? Uh, oh, they, them. They got Stay a, with me. We'll patch you right up. They have a Raijin drum purse? What the? Uh, nice. I guess there's Thunder God. <laughs> I have to help everyone. Hey there. Whoa, whoa, one, one thing at a time. Stop moving. You don't understand. I promised them. Said I'd keep them safe. If I'm the only one that survives, then it's all been for nothing. I have to go. No, hey, we'll take over. Don't sweat it. Oi, don't be a clod. Hey, come on. Uh, not the time for you, man, to land. Huh? I'm... I'm not. Oh, what? You're really serious, then? How are you going to save anyone when you can barely stand yourself? You got a death wish or something? Let's break it down. As I see it, you have two options here. You can go in and try to save them by yourself, or you can let us pitch in. Which one of those strikes you as the better idea, eh? You want to help me? I don't see a reason not to. I don't know. That depends. But I wouldn't be in such a hurry to throw my life away. Being ready to die and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. Dang, well said. Lance is getting some good lines lately. I'm for it. <sighs> Come on. Trust us. We get you. I think you're a medic and, you know, you feel your duty, but we got two medics on deck. We got, we got potentially seven. <laughs> <sighs> it's just a quick patch up, but it should help you think straight. Sorry about Lance and his threatening display of idiocy. <laughs> What's threatening? You, man. Come on. You're scary. You missed the point. I did not miss the... Oh. Look, you can relax. We're all friends here. Would you mind telling us what's going on? Yeah, okay. There was a Kavesi raid. There was no time. I had to cause a diversion, so I leapt in without a second thought. Oh, my God. The... The, the healer up front? Bold tactic. After that, it's it's all a blur. That was pretty reckless of you. Remind Riku of someone Riku know? <laughs> oh. Whatever the case may be, we had best hurry. Judging by the situation, your allies were likely forced apart and are now fighting alone. <sighs> it really sounds like it would help to have some numbers on your side, no? For now, let's take the best course of action we can. We can hash out the details later. The best course. <laughs> My name is Fiona. I am the commander of Colony Mew. I know this might be a lot to ask, seeing as we've just met. But please, lend me your strength. I need to save my people. You got it. It's not like we're doing anything else right now. I mean, really. Is it just me or her legs like extremely pale? I guess I don't know. Maybe those are socks or well, she was in the sand. Okay, let's uh let's check this out. I mean, I don't see a reason not to help legitimately. Assuming you know we're not actually killing the Agnians, which I'm pretty you know in this situation the Kavesi soldiers, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. At least I'm hoping. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're going, oh my god, I think we're too late, that sucks, oh no, you're joking, Summer, 
I'm so sorry. He shouldn't have been alone. Let's send her on. Her voice deserves to be heard. All right. Sean. He kept everyone safe. It must have hurt so much. Fiona, leave the rest to us. Yes. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Hey, are you all right? Crying isn't going to change anything. Noah, Mio, would you mind taking care of everyone? I don't want to lose them. Oh, Fiona. Oh, snap. They're not all gone. There's a couple... It... Oh, wait, what is that? What's going on with this? Hello? Well, this was entertaining. Quite a contest. Fog beasts? How's that possible? <laughs> Indeed. And it ended with your loss. Irma! What took you? Sorry. How's everyone? Fiona! Oh, Fifi, I was so worried about you. <laughs> Fifi! Oh. We're surrounded. Yeah, I can And see. pretty badly depleted. Men, aim for that banner. It's their commander, Fiona. You're, you're the commander? Dream on, mother. What? We should go. But she, she's got to be younger than Alexandria. All of us. Yes. We didn't ask for these outsiders. This is still our fight. But the wounded... Ah, it's nothing. We're good. Yeah, we're fine. Stop fighting fit. Oh, you're such a little kid. Relax, Fifi. You worry far too much. <laughs> Their voices are... In Colony Mew, we fight as one. Right, folks? You guys... Trust your crew. Trust yourself. Trust in victory. All hearts as one. We'll make it! Together! Yeah! I... I can't get over this, though. Their... Their weapons are bigger than them. This is screwed up. How? Just... Just how? Legitimately. I mean... I don't know if it makes sense that since they're so close to, you know... The castle... That they would... You know... Be not the most advanced. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm not trying to say they suck. I'm really not trying to say that. But you know, you know, like, they're not the most seasoned, you know, they ain't no Ethel. That's all I gotta say. And also, how the dump are these guys, you know, taming fog beasts? That's, that's nutty. Like, what, what the... It's crazy. Anyway, they're... <laughs> this thing's definitely flew. Like us last episode fighting those uh, Chilkin. No, they're not Chilkin. What are they? I don't have to remember. Chilkin is from one. Anyway. I just thought about that. Most of the time... In Xenoblade games, there's not like enemies... That cross over between one and two, right? I mean, wol wolves, I guess. But also the Tear King. I wonder why that is. Because there's some enemies that... I'm reading too much into it, bro. They got recycled models. Ain't that serious. But the lore! The lore! I want to know. Sparks! Too strong! Retreat! Retreat! Uh, I'm out of here. <laughs> we made it. Somehow. I... Hey, no casualties. Fiona. Thank God. Fifi! Irma! All of you! You pulled through. Thank you. Come on now, of course we did. We made a promise, right? Come what may, we'll always be together. <sighs> Lance, everybody. Yo, what's, uh, you know, we got so. I, I'm happy for you, but. Thank you so much for saving our lives. Uh, no, no, nothing to it. You, you're good. 
Uh, Whoa! All right, steady on. We're not deaf. <laughs> Lance is never in a good mood. Neither am I. We were just gonna walk away. I couldn't let you go without a proper thank you. True. And yeah, hey, are you attached to that clock? I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, even if, even if you're Ouroboros, the betrayers. It's kind of, hang on. It's got a good ring to it, mate. With the betrayers. That's. Wait, no, that's 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 a bad ring to it. Never mind. Uh. No, no. No need to explain. You're our saviors. There we go. Oh, boost the saviors. That sounds odd, then. That's right. You even healed our wounded. Yeah, you don't look like baddies to me. Exactly. And I noticed that when we were fighting side by side, you guys all trust one another. That is true. We can trust and know what to put on the break. And the topple, because he's, you know, he's kind of covers a wide range of things. You know, we follow up. You know, we got a good system going. That's why. You've made up your mind, have you, Fiona? There's no way you're ditching already. What? That'd be the shortest. Yeah. That'd be the shortest he requests in history. What? That's why I want to try trusting too. Eh? Oh, just invite us over for dinner. That's fine. I want to destroy our flame clock. Would you mind doing us this one last favor? Hmm? It's hardly a problem for us, but why the sudden request? We heard about a liberated colony from Nopon travelers. That's what got me thinking. There should be more to life than spending it fighting all the time. Being ready to die and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. Sounds to me like you've been mulling it over. This has to change. I want to change myself. I want to change the way things are. <laughs> Good on you. That's the first step. Just acknowledging there's a problem. In a lot of ways. Looks like you got it figured out. Heck yeah. You'll... You'll trust me. I mean... I don't think there's explosives in your flame claw. <laughs> That's the same look you gave us when we first met. You'll do anything to protect your friends, won't you? I mean, it makes sense you'd be a little skittish in this situation. <laughs> you have big bad eye patches on right now. <laughs> All right then, let's make tracks for Colony Mew. That is, if she didn't still seem to be having second thoughts. Care to tell us why? Oh my God, Tyon, you're second guessing everything. Oh, you noticed? Well, that makes things easier. There are two major stumbling blocks. The first is that you'll have to somehow outwit the console. That is usually very easy, for the record. I'm not worried. And second, that only that console knows the location of the flame clock under discussion. Oh. Oh. Well, that's new. What? Huh? How can you not know? Isn't it just slapped on the Pharaonis? The dump? The one you see right now? That's just a fake. Dang, that's clever. Fake? How's that then? Oh, but the console isn't here right now. This might be the right time to act. Perfect timing. Fiona, this isn't the place to be having this conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it on the DL. Yeah. Ah, right. Sorry. In any case, let's talk details at the colony. Our people are on their last legs. We'll need time to get back to strength. Um, please, take this. I'm happy you were able to send everyone on their way. It really helped me to be a little more positive. Thank you so much. She's just so... Sorry about all the urgent requests. It's okay. She's too sweet. I can't handle this. <laughs> Talk about wish whiplash from Triton to Fiona. My God. We'll be waiting for you at Colony Mew. Don't keep us waiting too long. Oh, no. That's my first priority. Don't even worry about it. <sighs> God dang. Well, that's an interesting spin on the usual affair. But yeah, it's, it's a fake. That's that's kind of cool. It's hard to believe this grand looking of a colony, though, would be, you know, weak. Like, I don't know. Big F robot. Looks awesome. They got a great, like, strategic position on this island, too. Well, I guess they could have a few issues if, you know... They can't actually leave the island. Oh, I think I see the issue. Yeah, it's a bunch of kids. This is, uh, you know. 
it could be like what Alexandra mentioned during her hero quest. Once the active commander either makes it to homecoming or, you know, falls in battle. I'm, try I'm trying to show the Faranus off, but these camera angles, bro. I when a colony loses, you know, its active commander, times would obviously be tough, and maybe that's why the Cavessi are attacking right now. On top of that, yeah, it just seems like there's not a lot of uh, strong people to go around. Maybe they got, like, drafted into a... I don't know. What's the equivalent for Agnes? I guess we still don't know that yet, but like a gold unit, you know what I'm saying? To like guard the queen. That could also be the case. Because Fiona, I'm not trying to hate, but you know, she doesn't totally seem like she's got it all together. Maybe she's, you know, new to the position. You feel me? Wow, this rain looks really nice here. Bed of what? Bed of wolves? Oh crud, I barely got to read that. Oh well. Wah! Such flower power! Manana flubbered! I think they're having a funeral, Manana. Might need to tone, tone it down a little. Uh. Everyone! We've been waiting for you. This is awesome! Did you guys make this? I suppose we did. Whenever we say farewell to a friend, we plant flower seeds. So it's like that. It's a figurative burial because, you know, the husks, they don't, you know, we just send them. They kept growing over time, and before we knew it, we had this. It's oh beautiful. My God. But to think of all the departed. That's so many. Standing still spells death. If we can't achieve victory, there will be no tomorrow. But still, we didn't want to forget that they were all here once. So that's why you're getting all teary-eyed. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just the pollen. <laughs> that's so good. It doesn't take much to get Commander Boohoo here going. Yo, same. <laughs> oh. Garma. Looks like you're taking a lot on your shoulders. Doesn't it weigh you down? A little. I just wish I wasn't such a weakling. You can put the burden down whenever you want, you know. You can still choose to keep things the same as always. I wouldn't think any less of you if you did. Neither would anyone else here. I love you for saying that, Irma. Just like I love everyone here, and Colony you, where I met you all. And ever since I realized that, tomorrow stopped looking so dark. And that's exactly why I can't run away from my responsibility. I get it. She doesn't want to step down because she cares so much. Man. So she's just going to keep all this responsibility forever? I don't... I don't know, man. I'd run away. Times are getting tough. Whatever happens, I trust in you. <sighs> I got some good friends here, but... Yeah, realistically, y'all need some reinforcements. Uh. And I trust you, too. Fiona! Irma! All the squad leaders have assembled. We can start the meeting at your convenience. Oh yeah, we're supposed to do with the flame clock. Understood. <laughs> I almost I'll forgot. I'll be right there. I was just drowning in dread there for a minute. Oh, but before that, Fifi. Huh? Tackle ambush! What? Chicka -chicka. What? That's so. <laughs> hey, I'm the commander. Show me some <laughs> respect. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, Fifi. Get it all out here. Dang, some friends. Yep, now she's back to herself. There we go. We're waiting in the square. Why? I'll get you back, you'll see. <laughs> Run away! It's hard to imagine that the console will make it easy for us with the flame clock. Yeah. Those kids were literally fighting for like their lives like four set like four minutes ago. What the dub? Someone will surely pay for this with their life, again. Nah, we got this. Like I I'm not even trying to like say oh you know, like hand wave it, but legitimately we've done this like eight times. Like, and what's eight sideways? <gasps> Mobius. Please, do whatever you can to make sure it's not Fiona. Th this is the meeting spot. Like. 
A middle of a field in the, while it's raining? What? Are we, we seriously gonna do it now? Out here? Like, can, can this not wait a day? Like, it's, it's raining like cats and gormadis. Wait, those are the same thing. Those Gavessi dudes are still loitering around. Who's loitering again? <laughs> God, he's huge. <laughs> what? You're talking about him? It sounded like someone was having a bit of a whinge. We all good here? Hmm? Do I scare you? Even a little? Hmm? You're great. Right, Tallow? <laughs> right, Chief. No whinge in here. <laughs> say again? N nothing to say, really. Huh. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Time is of the essence. Sorry to rush, but can we get straight to the point? What should we talk about first? Uh, wow, we have options. I do want to know about this console, though. You said the console was away. Do you know how long for? Tell you bluntly, we don't know either. She's always disappearing, going off on one special mission or another. Man, they're just going out drinking. You know that's what it is. What a console's got to do all day. Come on. If Ouroboros don't show up, they're just... Really, what? what? What do they do? What do they do? In that case, she could be back at any time. I'm sorry that the answer isn't very useful. This all sounds like kind of a big deal. It doesn't bother you. It's nothing special. We don't normally talk much about it. She just sends us down broad stroke orders, like, go defeat those guys. Send a team to this location. Sounds like a really cruddy leader, not gonna lie. Yeah. The only time she spoke normally was that one time, wasn't it? That one? Hmm? You know, the time when Fiona became commander. Yuck. Do we have to talk about that? I mean, it could be a critical detail. About what? When the previous commander died, Fiona clung to the consul's knees. Oh, no. Started saying that the way we fought was making everyone miserable. Yeah, it turned into a whole, like, debate. Until the consul was like, fine then, you try and change it. And made Fiona the commander. So it's just like I thought. Well, dang. What? Just like that? <laughs> The consoles aren't almighty. I mean, we knew that, but like... Fiona's on the debate team. Hello? I know it was a twisted kind of punishment, but now I've got everyone else tangled up in this mess. Well, it sounds like to me, the previous commander wasn't all too hot either, so... Whatever. We know you just want the best for us, Fifi. That's why you get yourself in such a tizzy. And that's why we want to support you in turn. You're good, Fiona. Better than you know. Hmm. Thanks, guys. Punishing someone with a promotion, that's so bizarre. At the same... Hmm. At the same time, though, here's my argument. Why did the commander... If, if they're really actually sucking that many eggs on the battlefield, and I'm not talking, like, metaphorically, they're really just like, go to this location, suck an egg or two. And they're like, all right. All right. Like, why did the other commander not be like, hey, this is effing stupid. Bro, we need to start with a break lock and topple, you know. You know the you know the strats. Like it's not it's not science. Anyway. <laughs> Colony's rank. We don't need to know that. I oh man, I wanna ask everything. But I also wanna just help these people ASAP, so where the crud's the clock. You said nobody knows where your real flame clock is except the console. How are we supposed to find it then? I don't suppose we could just ask the console? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could if they were here, but they're not. They're out drinking. So... Oh, come on. Why the huge sigh? I was just asking. Someone had to ask. So that, so it's that obvious, huh? Well, it has to be somewhere, or the status quo wouldn't be maintained. If you fight, the flame clock must fill up. Suppose you were to harvest a large pool of life in a short time. Yeah, where would the moats go? Oh, it would flow into the real clock. I'd like to investigate any large-scale combat engagements you may have experienced. If we're lucky, someone may have witnessed some signs of the Flame Clock's operation. Yeah, we just gotta ask around. Can we take a look into your past battle records? Or that, yeah, that's way faster. Yeah. Of course. I'll have them delivered to you. Well, there you go. You can't hide it forever. It's like it has to go somewhere. We still have things we can ask. Maybe we should ask everything. You said the colony's Flame Clock was a fake. What did you mean by that? Wow, pretty blunt, huh? D what? Honestly, we don't really know any more beyond the fact that it's a fake. 
sense we never use it anyway, yeah? When it's close to running dry, we get orders from the console to go out and fight. Well, what is it for then? Do you think maybe there's some weird advantage to it? Other than to make us pretty mad at this very exact and precise moment? Uh, maybe? Like, maybe the colony's rank is really high, but it makes it look lower <gasps> to get enemies to underestimate what? us. Wait, you're right! Or, or the exact opposite. Uh, what? Actually, we're bottom tier, but it looks a lot higher to intimidate people. I didn't realize the clock was the main representation of that. To be fair, I didn't really look at, like, the outside of the emblem. Oh, yeah. It could be that. Dang. Well, your actual strength doesn't change, so it'd be pretty obvious once you get down to it. And also, supplies from the castle are allocated based on rank. Could we see your supplies? That would give us a good idea of where you fall, rank-wise. Nico's on warehouse detail. And I'm Nico. <laughs> I'll get things ready for your inspection. <laughs> thanks for the added uh, information there. Kind of unnecessary. Okay. So we're so You know what? Now I'm starting to realize it. it. We're all piecing this together. It's a little mystery to solve. That's cool. So this whole clock breaking thing's kind of a sudden development, yeah? I wanted to ask how you lot feel about all this. We know how Fiona feels, but are you all okay with what we're about to do? Honestly, I just want Fiona to be able to relax, like not have to carry all this responsibility. Hey, that's relatable, man. That's so kind of you. And pretty admirable. Even if we do this, people will still die. Yeah, but if they do, it will be because of their own failure. That's not the same. She carries the banner for us, and it's because of us that it's so heavy. But that weight's also the momentum that keeps her moving forward. I don't want us doing anything that could sully the purity of Fiona's conscience. Uh, so blow the clock up or not? I'm, just, I'm getting mixed signals here. All right, all right. Yeah. Let's all take some deep <laughs> breaths. I mean, it's got to go, right? One way or the other. We're all friends here. Keep it civil. I'm happy that you're so concerned for me. Thank you. Well, I reckon things will work out one way or another. I mean, come on. You've got us on your side. <laughs> Being a little cocky there. I mean, come on. Lance is in town. What could go wrong? Yeah, you tell him, Lance. <laughs> exactly. Uni's got my back. No one wants to lose their mates. Just don't lose track of what matters, yeah? It's really that simple. Did we get them all? Fake one, colony rank. Yeah, I think that's about it. Crud. I think we've more or less heard all we need. Yeah, I think so too. It's time to get to work. Let's check out the loose threads we've uncovered. We should investigate the supplies in the warehouse and the colony's battle record data. Is that right? Sounds about it. I'll make sure everyone gives you their full cooperation. We'll also try looking around for anything we might have missed. If anything turns up, we'll be in touch. Thanks. We got the whole... You know, everyone's on the same path. They want to protect their dearest Fifi and let her relax. And if that, you know, getting on the console's bad side, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Some relationships change. So, Nico, how's the uh, supply closet? Welcome to Nico's warehouse. I'm Nico. And the, the, uh, uh, this, uh, well, it's not exactly my warehouse. <laughs> Look around all you like. Thanks. I won't be a minute. Nothing really stands out. It's as I'd expect from a colony with rank their flame clock says they are. By the way, are you the ones who does invest inventory management here? No, I think it might be the console. Nico only watches the warehouse. Nico, I should say, is me. Yes, you've made that very, very clear, Nico. Uh, why would a console do that themselves? Yeah, that's kind of weird. What? Very strange. What about you? You got them battle records. Frost, Sean, you said you'd come back. <laughs> you liars. Sorry to bother you while you're clearly, uh, mourning. We were hoping to check the battle logs, uh... Ah, oh, right, uh, Pfeefy said I expect you. Bear with me for a minute, okay. Alright, I transferred the data. Yeah, see if you can find anything interesting, let me know. Thank you. No matter what way you look at it, something's up with this console, bro. Like, ser seriously, what's going on there? 
Okay. Let's not mince words. Connie Mew is weird. And this is why you can't make friends, Tyon. <laughs> Pot mead kettle. Uh, anyway, I've looked into their combat records. For the past few years, there have been no large-scale combat engagements involving Colony Mew. Then how is the clock alive? What? That in, and of itself is understandable. But, well, we can't do that investigation survey thing you thought of earlier, right? <sighs> Back to the drawing board, then. Well, perhaps, but what really caught my eye was the wastelessness, so to speak. Without any big wins or losses, not only were there no large swings to the flame clock total, there were also no interruptions to the supply chain over the long term. Wait, so what's that proof except that Fiona and the others are fending for themselves? I gotta say, that's not really the impression I got in the first place of this first glance of this place. We heard him chatting. They don't really seem to talk a whole lot about training or strategy or anything. And think about the personal turnover. You saw the flower garden. Notice how young they all are? Add to that the console's extended periods of absence. Ignoring for the sake of argument, the insecure environment, the colony's military results could really afford such stability. Come to think of it, didn't VP say their colony's ranks stayed the same? Yeah, it's not going up or down. What the? This is this is odd, Noah. You're right. I couldn't stop wondering what the point of the deception was. We said we thought it could be to fool enemies, but the soldiers here aren't given information. It's not even they're not even being manipulated. Just flat out being not supplied. Fiona and the others didn't seem to bother be bothered by it, but I think in the real world, it wouldn't do them any real favors. Right on two sides, it's actually Fiona and the others that it's affected. What was it Tallow said? Something about not stressing all the time? Hold, hold up. Back the snuff up. You're not saying. The people the consul wanted to deceive. Was it the residents of Colony Mew all along? I don't follow. What? There's one more thing that bothers me. Looking at Fiona and the others, didn't they remind you of someone? They don't believe in anything beyond what they can see in the moment. Still thinking that fighting is everything. Like we did back then. Right. They're so occupied with the reality put in front of them. They don't think of anything beyond that horizon. In Connie Mew's case, they don't seem much interested in anything apart from the banner that Fiona carries. True that. Soon as it's about Fiona, they get all super passionate. You think they're being... Used... How? How? No. It's not a question of being used or otherwise. I'd imagine we're also only seeing what we want to see. So that's why Fiona was appointed commander. Because she's useful at hiding whatever's inconvenient. Intentional or otherwise. Whoa! This hero quest got way deeper! Like, crit- What?! If the Consul had to go to such lengths to devise this, there could only be one reason. The Consul is betraying Colony Mew. The raid we interrupted must have been their doing as well. Then we gotta tell Fifi straight away. This is... That's next level. Wait, what is this? Mysterious Assailant? Huh? When I unlock that? Oh, I'll check that out some other time. I I legitimately did not... Like, I don't remember picking that up. Whatever. One thing at a time. Hey, gang. Got some bad news. Oh, my God. You've been... Oh, you're, no. Yeah. What's going on? Ah, oh, crap. It's like back at Colony 4. Another Mobius messing with us. Crap! It's a genuine reaction to it. Crap! What, what would you do in this situation? Tell oh no! Hey, you stop! What's wrong with you? Oh my god! Sorry Don't about this, bud. <laughs> Tell you really weren't Don't sorry. Worry. He'll be all right. But now. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Just goes to how inaccurate that art is. Only one bullet. <laughs> I did Muse console. What? It was you, wasn't it? Oh my god. I what? I did not see that coming. Reality, right? It's just so dull. That's 
That's why nobody pays it any mind. They'd rather chase pretty dreams. That's so evil. No, come on. She can summon freaking... Oh, I mean... You really should have just stayed dreaming. Console J could do the same thing. Just with, you know, more steps involved. Why would you do something like this? When someone close to you gets hurt, you want to become stronger for them. That desire and sadness, they make for a quality flame. Is that why you arranged the attack? Conspired with Keves, sacrificed all those lives? Without some hardship, humans don't come together. It was just the same with you. Cut the crap! She's a nut. How could you put Fiona through this? You don't even feel a little remorse? I know perfectly well what I did. What the? Oh my god. Polar opposite from Triton. You don't have to do this. You choose to do it. What a monster. But Fiona, she never once gave up. She wouldn't let the dream be all there was. That purity of purpose. It lifted everybody up. Wait, is that the whole story? We need to support one another. She taught me that as well. What the dump? What is going on with you? <sighs> she... Oh, well, ain't that nice. Uh... Learn this! No, come on. What are you doing? Uh, what are you... <laughs> Don't hurt my friend! I... What?! Even if she's bad, she's still my friend! Fifi, come yeah. on. <laughs> Don't do this. No! Oh, no! Stop it! You f I don't even know what- oh. What is with you? Stand up. You can do better than this. Please, get up! You'll do your best for the others, won't you? You'll do all that you can, and then some. Stop it! I'll fight along with you if you want. I'll fight by your side against whatever it is that's making you sad, Irma. So please, stop calling it a dream. Hey, don't disappoint me like that. You've already made your choice. You chose what you wanted to see, and freely. Just how heavy is that banner? How many lives do you carry? Please. You said we'd be together forever. Crying about it won't change the truth. The fact is, your friends are dead, and I'm the one who killed them. What the heck? I. What is your end game here, Yo! Yo! Fifi's done playing around. Knock some sense into her. Come on! Oh my god, she's charging head first again. No, no. What the? Mobius Eye. What the actual crap? What did she. What does she want? No, really, what? If she's not doing. Maybe she's just desires. I don't know, breaking down Fiona that much. I mean, that is a possibility, I suppose. Let's focus this one real quick. I'm, I'm, I can't really see the full picture here. I'm, we'll just have to see how it plays out. What? I mean, we've seen firsthand, you know, that, uh, yeah, some Mobius don't all think the same. Maybe that this is another instance of that. Whatever her, Reasoning is though. Come on, it's n <laughs> whoever said it is right. Yeah, you're conspiring with the Convessi. Like you're giving them extra soldiers. Like, come on, you're a fall here. Whether it be greed or whatever, it's gross, and I don't like it. Get launched, punk. Oh, freak. I mean, get dazed, punk. That's that's what I meant to say. 
Oh, I just realized we have F Fifi in the party. <laughs> I cannot call her Fiona. <laughs> what can I say? Well, I think of Fiona, I think of Shrek. Now, let me tell you, I love me some Shrek. Hey, you get down from there. What are you doing? Legitimately great films. Okay. Let's use our usual strat. I think I think we can get it off. Uh, going to start with Noah. Get the break. Then Tyon should be able to do the topple. And Senna. Get the launch. I was too late because I'm an effing idiot. I screwed it up. I screwed up. Whatever her explanation is for being a manipulative piece of crap. I don't, I don't even want to hear it. Come on. Maybe she's just mad. She, she asked for a promotion. Okay, that would be next level petty. I don't think it's that. But if that was, that would be, I don't know, pretty evil. They are more or less their bosses, right? Like, ugh, you dare ask for a raise? You free, you question my ama- And then she's, and then like, you know, eventually Fifi just wins her over. Like, dang, following, it, following Fifi's banner is actually amazing and fun. Speaking of which, I just now realize we're fighting with her. Uh, she, she definitely does have a flag, I will say that. I, You know what, it's a unique weapon, that's for sure. Let's uh, see how our Ouroboros levels are doing, okay. Man, now that I understand how they work, yeah. Anything outside of level two is just not, or no, level three, I mean. It's just not even worth going for. But I get it. If you use them in every single battle, right? There'd be no reason to use, you know, your normal arts. So in that sense, I think they struck a good balance. Or, you know, popping them when you're about to die. That's still pretty cool. Anyway, Mobius, hi. Yeah, you You definitely did summon some wolves. I'll give you that. Outside of that, man, you just, you, yeah, just kind of died. I don't know. You really shouldn't cry for me. Sorry. You were my friend. But I couldn't save you. <laughs> Fiona. You'll always... What? Irma? What is going on? It wasn't an act? We... We got no answers! <laughs> what the dump? <laughs> we still don't know where the clock is either. Uh, never mind. Wow, this is just a fake colony. Holy dump. I can't... Some relationships change. Yeah, yeah, some relationships definitely change. What the actual dump? Fiona was just getting gaslit, and then I guess... You know? Eventually... Yeah. Stay good. Maybe Irma just started to believe it. Like, you know what? Actually, I do like these people. But I have to give us a purpose, so I'm going to keep getting us killed. Like, that is... That's crazy. Oh my God, I, I mean that maybe I'm inferring incorrectly. I mean, I, I, I'm, there's a lot going on in my head right now, as there usually is. But I don't know. This this one still hot take does not feel complete. I, I I want more. I don't know. I'm not satisfied. Like is that bad? So this is where the flame clock was. How did we never see it before? Look. I'm not great with words, but I wanted to say, I'm sure she was a complicated person too. Yeah, let's just, let's keep it like that, complicated. I'll never forgive what Irma did. I know I can never, ever forgive her, but if I'd never met her, I wouldn't be who I am today. She's taught me a lot as well. Just... Just promise you won't suffer alone, all right? But if things get too much to bear, you can always talk to me. Hello. If you need to grumble or swear or call someone names, I'm your man. <laughs> I'll get rid of all your worries. <laughs> all right, Mr. Punching Bag. <laughs> if only it was that simple. 
You can count on this turkin head, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Same old tallow. She woke me up, you know. Irma did. Made me watch you. I couldn't move, but I followed every word you said. Perhaps she didn't want you to be alone. <laughs> but then, why? Why do something like that? I, I, I still can't figure it out either. I'm supposed to be the turkin head, not Irma. I... I want to know about these Mobius people. I have to know what Irma was thinking. Will you let me fight by your side still? No reason to say no. <laughs> right. You're already our friend, Fifi. <laughs> you definitely got some character, I'll tell you that much. Dang. They've done it again! I'm tearing on again! How the dub? These characters, bro. They're not... Don't ever forget how you're feeling right now. I think... It'll keep you strong. Yeah. I won't. Not ever. Man. I got so much to say. I just... They keep they keep outdoing themselves. There's been no well shouldn't say that. Zeon and Teach are slightly similar arcs. But my god, they just keep getting better and better. Okay, yeah, I was worried the clock would fall on the flowers. We don't want that. We can't we can't clock. We can't have that. Transparent dreams, huh? I mean the simulacrum they made wasn't necessarily transparent, but the uh, colony itself was. Signifier. Oh, come on, Fiona. You, you just started to gain heart. On lands, kind of figured. So, Signifier. A unique healer that applies random buffs to allies. Okay. Can strengthen the whole party with arts. Seems pretty simple. So I'm excited to check it out. That, uh, you know... Lands gets kind of screwed over because he only gets like one and a half new classes. Messed up. I mean, even if it is the best, but like. <laughs> it, uh, it, it works for him. Uh, I, I guess. So, okay. Grants all. Oh, okay. Hold up. This, this could potentially be really cool. And Cry of Faith just gives you heck of buffs. Dude, that's good. Maybe not as like, hold up. Why would we not bring her as a hero then? Because in that case, right? She doesn't actually, wait, wait, wait. Now that Trinus Rally you can, oh, you can like, what? You can also soul hack, oh, okay, okay. He also gets new skills, cool. I, off screen, I have been like uh, getting some of these, but uh, what was I about to say? She see, look at her little pose, eee. <laughs> I, like, if we don't need the heals, and we don't really need the damage, I haven't really seen what she does in a chain attack, but between her and Grey, yeah, they, they're, no, it's definitely her and Ashera. They seem like the two most valuable assets? Definitely not Triton. They screwed Triton over, bro. Oh, me? Yeah, like, come on. Randomly gives him 50 TP or takes it away. Like, that's so inconsistent. Anyway, we'll check her out for a bit. Probably running to, uh, what are they called? What's the class called again? I don't have to remember. Signifier. That might be a bad idea, but, uh, it definitely makes use of the, uh, gem extend, uh, where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extends duration of buff effects issued by self. There's another one that's like, uh, like, just in general? Oh, I guess like both. So, those, you know, these finally have some, like, really solid use. I'm excited to do mess around with this class. I've decided um, I'm going to probably do that in between episodes because I can't really give, like, a actual review unless I do, like, some legitimate test. Yo, this looks pretty good. Hear me out, y'all. The pants? Okay, the pants suck. Like, obje like, you know, I made fun of uni shoes, like, not working with half the outfits, but, you know. No, we actually, no, with the eye patch, we actually look like a clown. I hate this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. A little bit of everything in this episode, but another Colony Freed. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Yeah, uh, we're... I feel like we're running out of ocean to explore, but... At the same time, I'm not 
ready to go straight to the castle right away. So if you guys have any suggestions what I should tackle next, let me know. And see you guys next time. Bye.